Greetings, everybody. It is Wednesday, July 4th, 2012, and it has been quite a long time since we have taken to the video. Uh, in light of the passage of time, in light of uh, various things going on at this end, um, in light of a number of emails and Twitter tweets that I have not been able to respond to, I thought uh, we could take a few minutes on this 4th of July holiday, at least in the USA, and catch up. So let's do that. Uh, a lot of the posting, a lot of the tweets, uh, the public tweets certainly have been revolving around MF Global since last October. A lot of us that are in a position of, of power, in a position where people will listen to us, have been uh, spending a great deal of our energy in terms of uh, both righting the wrongs uh, that have uh, occurred uh, and occurred back in October, um, as well as, as, you know, more importantly than anything, making sure that this never happens again for people that are our involved in the futures industry down the road. So uh, a lot of the public posts, a lot of the public tweets certainly have been uh, addressing that. But, uh, you know, to put some perspective on that and to kind of catch you up on some other things that are going on at this end, uh, I can turn to a few emails I've gotten to basically uh, talk about, gee, you must be under a lot of stress as it relates to MF Global and all that. And I got one, a real comical one that said, uh, I couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Um, and uh, I've, I've always been transparent. I'm going to continue to be so. And uh, uh, it, it gave me an opportunity really to, to catch people up on um, kind of where things are at and what my perspective is. Uh, first of all, if, if those of you who think that my whole life revolves around money, you have sorely been missing the point of the last decade in terms of what I've been fairly public about. Um, I uh, honestly believe uh, with conviction that we are stewards of whatever we have. Uh, for whatever period of time we're given, and, and it's our job to make the best of it. And, uh, you know, whether that's a dollar, whether that's a hundred dollars, whether that's a million dollars, it really doesn't matter. I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. So, you know, uh, certainly it was a shock, uh, you know, early on in terms of, uh, you know, things like the flash crash, uh, things that uh, those of us that have been trading for quite some time, uh, have seen. Uh, but, you know, once, once that passed, I mean, we all knew we were going to get the money back. Um, we knew the money was there. At least, uh, you know, was accounted for at least 90%. Uh, we all have 80% back. Uh, the bankruptcy uh, claims that are trading right now are trading 94, 95 uh, or higher, uh, which essentially means that people that are buying claims are buying 14 cents of the remaining uh, 20 cents. You know, so if they're buying at 94, they're selling at 98. Uh, when it gets there, you know, they're basically making, what is it, uh, you know, 18 divided by 14. You know, it's a, it's a 28% rate of return. So uh, it, it's been quite comical to see all the distressed vulture fund uh, buyers uh, coming out, uh, you know, first of all, paying in the 60s and 70s and 80s. And, and um, you know, it, it's just a matter of time. You know, those of us that still have some capital tied up in that, basically we put our, ourselves in the position of a bankruptcy claim buyer. We've essentially bought our own claim, like it or not. Uh, it's a matter of time. Time value of money is really the only issue in play because uh, we will get 100% back. The trustee has, uh, you know, 94, 95. He's got to fight through some red tape on some of the claims. But, uh, you know, whether we get 98, 99, 100, I mean, that's, you know, really irrelevant in the scheme of things. The, the more important aspect is to make sure that this never happens again for people um, that, are, that are involved in the industry. So... Um, first of all, if you think I'm stressed over this, uh, you know, first few weeks was, was probably a little unsettling, well, undoubtedly. Uh, but beyond that, you know, it, it really, again, uh, if, if you think this phases me um, in, in a way that uh, is going to damage or, or anything like that, uh, then, then you just don't know me and I've missed the point of the last decade of, of public talking. Uh, in, in terms of it and not happening to a nicer guy, uh, well, you know, we'll just, we'll just leave that as it is. Uh, there will also always be crazies out uh, out there, and uh, yeah, it's one uh, aspect of putting oneself out publicly uh, that uh, you take uh, you take the heat uh, along with everything else. And uh, one of the advantages I will say of, of being over 50 is that uh, you realize uh, what's important in life, and you don't you don't let little things like how people think about you or what people think about you you don't you don't really let that uh, bother you at all. And uh, I think the older one gets, the more more they uh, that they realize that. So um, it was it was funny. Um, a lot of things are really going on at this end uh, outside of the trading world, just to catch up, uh, involved in a non-market uh, project that have been for the last couple of months, uh, kind of a, a bit of a diversion, uh, which is uh, which is going very, very well. Um, but, but more importantly, I've, I've been spending a lot of time uh, actually moving my parents into uh, elder housing uh, here on, uh, on Cape Cod, and that has consumed 
uh, a tremendous amount of my time um, basically um, coordinating uh, moving my parents who are 84 and 85 out of a home that they have lived in for um, about uh, 60 years um, and moving them into uh, a really nice facility down here on the Cape but uh, you know going from a 12 uh, room house or so to a, uh, a three room condo um, you can imagine everything that that uh, gets caught up in that process in terms of, of things that you've accumulated, things that you don't want to let go of. And, and uh, it, it's really been a, uh, an insightful period um, for me. And, uh, you know, we, we all go through seasons, seasons of life. And, you know, I'm 51. Uh, my parents are in their mid-80s. Uh, my dad probably won't be around for much longer. Um, and uh, it's, it's a good situation in that they're closer to us now. Um, but the 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 uh, orchestration, the the uh, mental aspect, you know, very much like trading, uh, in terms of you know needing to let go of the materialistic aspects uh, and focusing on the skill in terms of trading, or in this case, really letting go of the material aspects um, and focusing on quality of life. And and these are all seasons that we go through. I'm fortunately in a position where I can help, um, and um, and so that's what's been going on there. Uh, some rumors in terms of my health that I want to square away. Um, I, uh, for those of you who don't know, and I've not been very public about this, uh, I did uh, get ill uh, on my trip to Aruba in late February, and uh, and there are some residual effects uh, that I'm dealing with uh, even to this day in July. Um, but uh, it, it did throw me for a loop uh, early on, um, and uh, basically came down with some kind of a tropical virus, uh, believe it or not, and it took me a while to uh, fight through the acute stage of that. Um, so that's another reason you haven't heard from me a whole lot lately. Um, but, uh, you know, things are certainly on the mend. Uh, some of these things, uh, basically what happens is your body fights these things off and the body starts fighting itself at the same time. You end up with some arthritic conditions and, and things like that. So. Um, you know, something that I have, uh, I have dealt with. I appreciate to those who do know. I appreciate your thoughts, uh, your letters, your emails, your prayers. So uh, that's all been appreciated. Um, in between, of course, we had the Emmaus effort, uh, and other things going on. So, uh, in terms of the markets, the markets are doing exactly, exactly what markets do. Um, a lot of the higher time frames are in play. Uh, certainly seeing a breakout of consolidation from the daily cycle, uh, which we knew was going to be strong. Uh, the tendency will be to be bullish, uh, buying any pullback. That we get uh, so long as we're back above the uh, uh, the daily uh, crossover of the moving averages, and uh, so long as we retain uh, prices above about where we were toward the middle of last week. So um, again, whether you're trading five-minute periods or whether you're trading weekly periods, there's really no difference. A very high probability, and you know where your risk points are and, and your uncle points are. So uh, again, I just wanted to uh, again go public uh, with kind of some things that have been going on. Uh, again, MF Global, folks, don't don't be too caught up in that. Um, I'm not at this point. Um, you know, I've eight nine hundred percent return. You know, bar, having having the market or having the bankruptcy uh, courts uh, borrow, you know, what is it, uh, twenty cents, and actually borrowing ten cents because we'll get probably another ten in another month or two. Uh, it's 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 a non-issue, folks, really. So uh, please, uh, we'll continue to fight. Uh, but if you think I'm wallowing, if you think I'm staying up nights worrying about it, that's simply not the case, and it never will be. So um, that uh, having uh, said that, uh, stay well in the markets. Uh, um, we will uh, be a little bit more frequent with po postings in the future. It's a great day uh, on Cape Cod today. It's even nicer that my parents are close by. So, uh, again, the season in life that I am uh, dealing with right now, but all is very, very good. So uh, take care. Happy birthday, USA. Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, email, tweet, whatever. Uh, Miller Don is the Twitter address, and uh, we will catch you later. Take care.